What's up, everyone? Welcome to Tan Psych Advice. My advice and my message today is to ENTJs. Why? Because you guys have a special place in my heart and you always will. No cap. And I just want to talk to you guys today. You guys are usually very calm, collected, and happy to take charge, even in the face of chaos. You like organizing and supervising activities, and it comes very natural to you. But I want to challenge you this week to take a step back. Not all the time, because if you do that, everything is going to go crazy and fall to pieces, probably. But find some small area where you can let somebody else step in and take care of you or take care of that one little thing that you were just like, oh, let me rush to do that. And you notice somebody saying, hey, I'll do it. Step back and let them. They may do it differently than you, but you deserve a break sometimes. You're very hardworking. ENTJs are always pressing for more freedom, more self-determination, and more control of themselves and their environment. You want input into anything that affects you. You can be very matter-of-fact and sometimes business-like, But this week, I want you to let your playful side come out. Find an area where you can tell a joke or two and let yourself be uncomfortably silly. ENTJs are often blessed with the ability to size people up rather quickly and may need to be reminded to share those observations and judgments privately. So while there's an urge to correct and improve and make better, Sometimes it's better to say nothing than something at all, especially if it's going to be brash or hurtful. So take a little step back. You guys often live in the future and what's possible. You're blessed to make discoveries and more complex conclusions. You're strong, you're independent, intellectual, and competent people with high personal standards. You can be ingenious and creative problem solvers. Those high standards might keep you from taking a well-deserved break. So this week, take your shoes off, get your favorite beverage, and just lay back, find a good book, and relax. And speaking of books, I can't believe I actually wrote a book called Flip the Script on Love by Tamara Hunter Zion. Check it out. It's on Amazon.